What's up, YouTube? What's up, Steam Cravers? Another review from the Boomerang Vapor Kenosha Boomerangs. Today I have Steam Crave's latest addition to the Aromavisor family, the Aromavisor Titan RDTA. This thing comes in at 41 millimeters in diameter. Right now I have a tall glass in it, so it'll hold 28 milliliters of juice. That's practically an entire bottle of juice. I know I've seen a lot of other reviews out there. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to have a vape real quick. I'm going to show you everything it comes with at the end of the video. But I'm going to take it apart, show you the insides, re-wick it. This can be used on many mods depending on how much or how little overhang you want. It's by no means a small tank. But... You have the capability to throw extra posts in, so if you want to run it in series, you could throw a series in it. You have velocity style, or as included as is, a similar postless style deck. It could also be converted into a dripper if you want to use it as a regular RDA. But this thing is nice. You got nice engraving on the top. Steam Crave Aromamizer Titan RDTA. I don't know how well you guys could see that. It comes with a couple drip tip options. I threw one of my drip tips on it. Let's see. This is the 41 mil, like I said. I'll put that aside for now. Here's a Boxer Rebel with the Aromamizer Plus RDTA. So you can see there's a, a sizable difference there between that 30 mil Aromamizer Plus and the 41. Don't be intimidated, don't be intimidated. You don't have to throw, you have the room and capability to throw some crazy coils in it, run it high, run it low, and never have to worry about running out of juice. Give me a minute and I'll start breaking it down and show you guys what's inside. All right, we're back. Look at the size of this deck. Let me take this off the mod real quick. This is where everything takes place. Look at the size of those holes. That's where the juice comes up from the bottom, just like all of the others. You see how big those holes are? Now what's cool with the deck you can see here, you got one, two, three, four screws on each side. You see that? You got the insulator, peak insulators in there. As is, you could run a tri coil if you wanted to. But you don't have to get big and crazy. I'm sure everybody's seen the Lego system, so if you will have your favorite pair of alien coils, say, come in at point two and you wanted to try something different, you could put those building Lego blocks in there and bump your alien coil from a point two to a point four if you want it higher. But you don't have to throw a crazy build in it. Here, I don't know how well you could see, I have a simple build in it, dual 26 gauge twisted can doll, two simple little coils. You could build high, you could build low, you could build simple. People ask, why do you want a 41 millimeter tank? I've stopped them all by saying, why not? 28 mils of juice, that'll last most anybody, most of the day. So what I'm gonna do, give me a second, and I'm gonna show you how I wick it. It's just like I said, it's a simple build. It comes in .34, I think. Dual 26 gauge twisted. You just lightly tuck the tails on each side in there. You don't have to cram it in there, and this way it naturally wicks like everything. The liquid, give me a minute and I'll throw some coil, uh, throw some wicks in it, and we'll go from there. So I'm sitting here, I got one side in on one side. I just measured and kind of tucked the cotton in to see how much tail I wanted and trimmed it down to there, and now I'm just I got the ends all fluffed out there, 
and just gently laying it into that juice well. I don't want to pack it tight. You want it to be nice and loose, fluffy. I've had no leaking on this tank, which is an outstanding thing. I've laid it down. I've had it fall sideways in my pocket, carrying it around. You see that? Look at all the room on that deck. If I really wanted, I could put a third coil in the center. I could throw some crazy stuff in this, but it all depends on you. Everybody likes big. Everybody thinks bigger is better. Sure. Do you have to build bigger? No. You could throw a rinky-dink set of coils in it. Whatever is suitable for you. So as you can see there, the cotton. So what do I got going in this tank? So I already have some residual juice. I got some of this Yami Vapors Milk Gat. Very good stuff. Tasty, creamy, good stuff. Just gonna go pre-wet my cotton. I used Japanese cotton here. I like the flavor off of it. It has good wicking properties. Everything I like. I've tried all kinds of wicking material. Everybody has their own favorite. Let me wick this up and get ready to go, and we'll be back in a second. All right. And just like everything, you got two tabs on there, so the deck will only sit flat one way. You line up the sides where, where you see the honeycomb airflow in it. You got the two notches there, and it'll sit right in. You want it to sit flat, because if it's not sitting flat, the cap won't sit flat. So you see, now everything is nice and even. And what I also like to do is while I have it upside down now, I'll add just a little bit more juice because I wet everything on top. Now I'm going to wet everything on the bottom. That'll help. I've seen lots of reviews on this tank. I even seen somebody make the statement they had to use pliers to get this bottom off. I don't know what the heck they were talking about. See here? Now everything is nice and flat. There's no gap, there's no little step. And you can see, look at the size of this tank. Let me show you again. Here is a 30 mil plus tank to give you an idea. Granted, this one has the drip tip. Look at the size difference between the 30 and that Titan 41. Big. All right, pop my drip tip back on here. Throw it on. I got not too many mods will fit this size tank. But again, you don't need to have a big tank or a big mod to put it on there. This is the Hugo Boxer V2. You see that? It's flush on the sides. It's flush on the back. I have a little bit of overhang in the front. You can see that little bit of overhang. But hey, it works, you know. And that's one mod. This is what I usually use it on the most. Here's the Boxer V3 radar. And it don't look bad neither, you know. No overhang on the back, sides, a little bit of overhang on the front there. But hey, you know, you got to remember, this is a 41 millimeter mod. That's the big thing to remember. No, a 41 millimeter tank, there, excuse me. It, it's a big, it's a big tank. Holds lots of juice. You got your separate airflow, juice flow control. Check this out. You could practice. You don't need. If, if, oops. I started to loosen it. That could have been bad. All right. Oh, let me show you the juice flow size. Hang on. All right. Sorry about that. Telephone call and the mailman all at the same time. My bad. All right. Let's see. Put that off to the side. 
Look at the size of those juice fill pores. You see that? And did you see? Cap comes off with the drip tip. Doesn't go over the drip tip this time. Big stuff. I mean, you could literally just sit there and uncap your bottle and just pour if you needed it. Uh oh. Another bottle bites the dust. Another bottle bites the dust. Ha. All right. All of the threading on this, very nice. Multiple O-rings, multiple gaskets, O-rings, grub screws, post pieces. Let's see. I already mentioned how you got independent juice flow control as well as Look at that. Look at the size of that airflow. That's the largest setting. And you could step it down. You got small, medium, and then you could get the small cyclops, and you could bump it all the way up. Let's see. Okay. I don't know how well you could see that. The, build, the simple build I had is a .32. Oh, I usually don't go anything above 60 watts. Let's see here. So right now I got it at 50 watts, 0.32. Tasty. So let's see. It comes with all its accessories. Look at all of those regular black as well as clear silicone gaskets, O-rings, whatever you want to call it. Off the top of the bat, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see I got over ten grub screws in here. You see all of them? I don't know how well you can see the focus there bunch of grub screws you have spare 28 mil glass uh, now you see this is the 18 mil so if you wanted to shrink that down a little it had almost cut that overall height in half not only do you get one glass that size but you get two spare glasses for the 18 mil and then you have the separate small chimney that you change out it comes with a gasketed black drip tip which matches if you like matchy matchy that looks good and it came with the newer also gasketed Ultim drip tip look at it it almost matches the juice I got in there so whatever you like Comes with the typical Allen wrench. Oh, take the foam out. Comes with the steam crave sticker. Their ever nice box. And it goes through all of the steps. Let's see here. See the breakdown there? It tells you all about the pieces. If you want to do the Lego version, I didn't show you guys that. It comes with a big vape band that'll fit on that tank. But you see that there? You got spare insulators. You got two blocks if you want to go velocity style. And then you see the connector there? This block here is what you'd use if you want to throw your build and build it higher instead of lower. Say you have a single coil that comes in 0.4. You double it, it reduces it, so you get your point two. So you want to keep that point four with your dual coils. You connect that back and forth across, and you go from there, and it'll bump up. So it's now point four. Well, there you have it, folks. You see, I made a little holder here. 
So I have no overhang custom out of catalpa wood. There you have it. Steam Crave's newest addition to their Aromamizer lineup, the Titan. 41 mil, 28 capacity RDTA. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.